G'day, I'm Bomber Farrell from Groot Island in the Northern Territory and today we've come over with a good mate of mine, Chris, to fish a few of the creeks here in Blue Mud Bay. So we've come over and established ourselves a cool looking creek here. We've come in with the side imaging, checked it out. Looks like there's some fish in there and now we're going to get underway with a process to sort of go through and try to catch a couple of these fish. What we're going to start off with is with a couple of hard body lures, run through this, this whole gutter and try to find if there are any snags holding up underwater and if the fish are going to hit them. Once we've found out that either the fish are or aren't taking the hard body lures, we're going to switch over to some squidgies and get them into the boat. Let's get at them. Lucky you've got me mate, who's good on the net, Chris. Young Chris, you can just come and do me a favour, my friend, and jump in here. Oh, you got a wild one. Oh, shark. Oh, jeez, get him in. Jeez, He's in. How's that? Sure. Wow. You've got to be quick. Good work on the net, Cheers. job. That's the first barra. As after a few casts after we've come and prospect through here, and just sort of confirms what we'd seen here with the side imaging and we'd seen a few fish drifting past and there's also a shark in there so it's a real dog eat dog out there at the moment and you've got to be pretty quick and get them into the boat but definitely in that corner over there we had a hitch pretty well on the third cast in sort of confirmed so that's really good to know that there's a few fish holding up chris is pretty good on the net <laughs> and this is going to be a pretty good day i reckon Just go over the combo we're using while we're over here chasing a few barra. We've got the Salty new barra rod from Shimano, five foot eight model, and I've matched it up with a Tranks 200. I've gone the left-hander, because that's how I roll. Got the Power Pro 30 pound braid with a 60 pound fluorocarbon Osea leader. And a beauty with the new Salty rods, these extra large guides all the way through. Doesn't matter what knot or leader you're using, there's plenty of room for the line to shoot through without any resistance. Got a 10 foot hard body lure, and that's got us underway for the day. Okay, so before you even put a cast in with a bait caster, first thing, get the lure onto the end of the rod there. And there's a dial here that you just adjust the cast control with. Now, as you can see, no lines coming out at all. We just adjust that slightly so it rolls down. Perfect. So that's good like that. I'm really happy with that cast control. It's also got a brake system on here, which is really good just to sort of adjust during the day as you're casting, depending on the wind uh, and where you're fishing and the size of the lure. You'll have to adjust that if you start to get an overrun. So as we start the day, keep your thumb close by and put the cast in and I've hardly touched it at all. Bang, stop the line and I've got the brake set nicely and then I'm underway and that's the real setup and I'm good to go. river is pushing all the water down. This creek is coming out and in that area just there, it's a little bit of slack water. It's a good opportunity for the barras just to hold up and sit in ambush and wait for some prey to come through. That's my first target area. Now, at the same time, it doesn't mean that there won't be fish that'll drift down along this color change where these leaves are coming down. And that's gonna be an area, as we work the lure back, it doesn't necessarily mean the fish are just gonna be held up there. They will just drift straight through down the middle of the river. So you've got to be on the ball as you start off with your barra fishing. Oh, get out, donkey. Yes. Oh, geez, I'll tell you what, this is where having that power in that five foot eight rod comes into its own. In that situation, he wanted to turn straight back into that snag and just having that grunt just to turn him and pull him out around. It's a nice, clean chrome barra. They love to put a bit of a show on, don't they, these guys? Oh, he's a cracker. Well done. Well, that is another awesome result from here. And we've actually then tied up to the snag and it's actually worthwhile doing when you find that there's fish held up in a spot so you get the opportunity to keep jagging fish like that. He's an absolute cracker. He's going back though. Let's go and get another one, I reckon. Oh, see you buddy. 
Well, we've had an awesome little session to start off here with the hard body as we've gone through this gutter. There's still some fish getting around and they're a little bit finicky, so it's time to change over and get on the squidgy and start working this gutter. There's a few salmon and stuff busting up as well. So let's get a crack into where we've been getting those barrows previously and see if we can't get a bite. There we go, jeez. Well, I've just put that right in. There's a shallow bank in there, and we found that early with the hard body lure, where basically that gutter just drops out and the fish were hanging on the other side. And they've been eating a lot of prawns, so we've just gone down and using these little squidgies. And the barra definitely, oh jeez, I'll tell you what, you might not be able to see it on the camera there, but when he spewed up a whole heap of prawns, they've all just drifted off in the water. Yeah, nice one. Just take your time when you get him close to the boat like that. Just maintain that pressure nicely and we'll just lead him over to the net like so. Oh, well done. Good stuff. Gee, that is a nice chrome barramundi. Taking the little bio tough squidgy. We'll just pop him out there so you can see what we're using here. Well, giving these guys the other option of this new squidgy on the thread line is working a treat. Few little tips there about fishing these gutters going from the hard bodies and then onto the soft plastics has worked wonders for us to have a really good session here. Not only all these barrows, but a few salmon while they've been kicking around. How good's that guy?